To properly configure the civil labeler tool, there are five key elements that comprise the content required for each of the annotations. One of the required elements is element templates. And so in this example, I have two element templates that define the level color style and weight, and they also define a dimension style. The dimension style is the second of the requirements. And in this example, what we deliver in our Imperial metric workspace are plan annotations with arrowheads and plan annotations without arrowheads. Within the product properties of a dimension style, you can, for example, set a text style here. You can also set the arrowhead and what size of the arrowhead. For example, we have a arrowhead size here. You can also, and this is recommended, to set the level that your dimension styles are drawn to. So don't forget that. Thirdly, after we have element templates and we have dimension styles, we have text styles are also required. Our text styles are used directly in our text favorites, which I'll show next, but essentially this is a series of settings that control how text is to be drawn. And so in our examples here, we have different sizes of the Arial font with different justifications. After element templates, dimension styles, and text styles, you also need text favorites. In the text favorites, as an example, I'm going to look at a text favorite to label plan coordinates. You may have a combination of computed text, for example, the northing coordinates of a point or the easting coordinates of a point, and you may have static prefix such as the N colon and the E colon. We deliver in our examples workspace three categories, cross-section, plan, and profile text favorite set examples for the labeler that will show how that we can import those and create those as annotation definitions, which is our last requirement. And we get to those, not under drawing production, this was uh, prior products versions, but now we wanna go to explore and in Explorer, we have these label definitions. And so if we go back again and look at the plan point coordinates, we can right click on those and select manage. And that brings us into our civil labeler manager tool. Whereas in the first screen, we can select our text favorite. And by the way, this icon will open up the text favorite manager. And then under placement is where we see our other requirements, for example, our element template, which can contain our dimension style. And you can also override the dimension style and text style used by turning on or selecting uh, a different option here if you want to. And so those are the five requirements to set up a label to use with the civil labeler tool, our element templates, dimension styles, text styles, text favorites, and then the label definitions themselves. In order for your labeler definitions to be loaded into the workspace, you are required to set this particular configuration variable, civil content management DGN liblist. Usually your other features are gonna be in the same file as your annotations for your labeling, and so this is typically not an additional configuration variable you need to set, but this is the configuration variable, civil content management DGN liblist that the labeler definitions are being loaded by.